Hi guys, welcome back to another the I don't know how close to sit. Welcome back to another video already. Um, if you haven't already seen, I uploaded a video yesterday uh, basically asking you guys what you want. You also got the chance to meet this guy here. I am so sorry, I know you were sleeping. Um, and today I am back with another snail video as per requested. Not by many people yet, but I'm assuming that more people will want that anyway because that's kind of what my channel is based upon. I'm actually going to give you an update on each of my snails. Uh, last time I was on here, I don't know if you guys had met my own albino snail. You may have. Oh, I think you met it when I unboxed it. Uh, it is now absolutely gigantic compared to how it was originally. So that will be really interesting for you guys to see. Can I move you? Because you're making lots of noise. Why do you want to lay? Why do you want to lay? Let's go over here. The good thing is, is that Freddy doesn't mind the snails because it would be a massive problem if I had all the snails out and he was constantly bombarding them with his dribbling jaws, but he's absolutely fine with them. Okay, do you want to go over there? Go over there, go over there. So I guess what I'll do is get them out one by one. I also have a few surprises for you, um, like surprise introductions. Uh, they're snails that you haven't actually met yet and I'll tell you the story behind them and basically how I've got them. Uh, and yeah, I guess... I'll stop rambling and let's just get started. Let me just, I just don't know what order to show you guys the snails in. I keep looking down here because my snails are here at the moment. Uh, I guess I should go in order of when I first got them, maybe I'll do that. Don't get me wrong, I know that they're all just snails, but I really do feel like they have their own individual personalities. Um, I'd say he's definitely the explorer of the group. Uh, he will literally trail off anywhere I leave him. Um, yeah, he's he's full of energy. <laughs> um, I I know most people don't have favourites when it comes to their pets, but I definitely do, and he's definitely my favourite. He's definitely high up there at least. So this is Sianda. She's a little bit smaller than Olabisi. If I pick them up together, you actually see the difference in snail shell size there is actually quite a big difference now that i'm holding up holding them up in front of the camera when it comes to these guys together they definitely get along quite well in their enclosure but at the same time i do feel a bit bad for her he is constantly wanting to breed with her he is constantly mounting her and obviously with the lack of research that we have out there i don't truly know if she wants it which is really upsetting to say but I guess it's just nature, it's not something I really intervene with because, you know, I'm not a snail myself. Okay, so now I'm actually going to show you their offspring. So this was, there's a long story about him basically. His name's Galukig, he actually has one eye. So he has one long eye and then like a stump. He doesn't actually have the pupil in the other eye, but he has like half of the stump, you'll see what I mean. Um, he's their offspring, so they had, they laid a lot of clutches of eggs. I decided to sell them or, dispose of them or you know ethically like I can I can explain that in another video how I do that if you want to know how to ethically get rid of eggs or if they've hatched what's the best way to deal with it um, I'm definitely happy to do a video on that just let me know so I kept Galukig this is Galukig here uh let me show you the eye so he's got one long eye here and then a stump I'm trying to show you the best way I guess you can see it like that so I absolutely just fell in love with this guy when i was going through all of the other snails i saw him and i saw that he had one eye and he was so much smaller than the others i won't be breeding him with anyone as he is definitely a runt i think um but he is so so sweet bless him he's not fully grown at all yet but i just think he has the most beautiful shell patterns and I just think he eats so much. <laughs> he's definitely the hungry one of the group. Um, he's absolutely ravenous 24 seven. And I just think if there's a big piece of lettuce and I feel like I've given, I've overfed the snails and there's too much left, I'll just give it to him because I know that he would just wolf it down and I just love him. So now I'm going to show you my albino filica snail. Oh, those other three snails, they're a chitna immaculata pink panther or pink lipped snails. Uh, this is an albino filica. 
I can't really say what her main personality trait is. She's quite mysterious, I feel, as a snail. Um, whereas the others, I can really point out, oh, this one loves to explore, this one loves to eat, you know. Um, whereas I feel like she's quite just calm, you know. She sleeps a lot, but doesn't sleep enough for me to be like, that's her main trait. Um, but yeah, I definitely do love her. She does this with her eyes a lot, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's very cute, it's very sweet. I do let all the snails explore together in this tent that I bought. Um, it's basically like a small pet tent. I could do a video on it if you want, um, but I fill it with enrichment and food and all that just so that they can explore other places rather than just their enclosure. Um, I left them for about an hour or two the other day I came back and these two were actually breeding now I didn't know that uh, different species could do this a chitna immaculata and, and, and a fulica and a chitna fulica I know that they're the same subspecies but I still didn't know that they could breed so it was quite a shock for me when I went back to the tent and I saw them breeding and obviously you can't just separate them you know just let nature do its thing it could hurt them who knows um and then for the next few days I was kind of really worried I was like is she gonna lay eggs is he gonna lay eggs you know what's going on because obviously they don't actually have genders it's just me labeling them with whatever um yeah I, I was very worried especially because I feel even though they bred successfully no one was hurt I was definitely not going to let the eggs hatch I definitely had to dispose of them ethically um because I just thought you know this shouldn't you know, I didn't want to break the laws, I guess, of snail keeping. And I know that you shouldn't keep eggs that have been bred by two subspecies. So I basically kept an eye out. She didn't lay any eggs. She didn't do it. So luckily, I didn't have to deal with the consequences. But yeah, I just thought that was quite interesting to tell you guys. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next snail. The two snails that I'm about to show you are actually the offspring of Olabisi and Siander again. Um... Hi, I just need to interrupt this video quickly. I am very unhappy with the amount of ums and ers that I say in this video. So I'm just going to apologise. I've tried my best to cut out quite a few of them. I don't know why I'm doing it. I think it's probably because I haven't filmed in a long time. So yeah, I just want to say I'm very, very sorry. And if you've got this far, well done. Continue on. I'm going to show you them. I'm just trying to think of the best way to show you. Maybe like that. They're very, very beautiful. Um, these guys are actually up for sale. Uh, if you look at my snail Instagram, you can check them out there. But I do want to make sure that they go to a good home. If they don't find a good home, I will be looking after them. I'm just going to end this video quite quickly uh, rather than making it a long outro because I feel like I have been ranting a lot. This video has been a bit chaotic. I'm sorry for that. I, I know I've been cutting here, there and everywhere, but I guess it's because I didn't plan what I was going to say. It was quite spontaneous. I haven't filmed uh, properly in a while like this, so I do apologise for that. Uh, as long as I'm making you guys happy and your snail life happy, um, just let me know what you want to see and I will try and help with it. So take care guys, happy new year.